Welcome to the channel. If you're new here to GQR, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do gentlemen's product review style and fitness here, so if you're about that, go ahead and hit that button right down there. Welcome everyone. So today we're gonna be checking out a sea salt spray in this bad company called Pete and Pedro. Now you guys know Pete and Pedro. This is Alpha M's basically hairline of products, and uh, he's a huge YouTuber. And uh, these products have actually been around for a very long time. So we're gonna be checking out his sea salt spray to see how good it is now. Just like anything on this channel, it's gonna be going over a couple things. We're gonna be checking out the packaging, the scent, the texture, the application, and then my overall verdict on the sea salt spray. Let's go ahead and get right into this and get right into the packaging. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So you are looking at an eight ounce container, plastic container, all the way around, and it's actually just very beautiful. It almost looks like glass, but it's just very hard plastic. Very nice, I love the color of the water. Um, just gives you like that tropical, sea salt water look so that's definitely really nice um pump is very nice looking too just the whole pump this is a very nice pump actually just very very nice very good quality right there it says pete and pedro salt natural sea salt infused and uh, it's got some kelp extract and it helps for volume and other things on there in the back it says bueno hair and then some couple things about the product so um very simple very minimalistic um but i just definitely like it uh, no stickery and everything's on the see-through bottle and uh just a beautiful looking bottle looks like a very nice bottle of cologne so i'm definitely digging the package all right everyone let's go ahead and get into the scent for the sea salt spray and uh mm, definitely a very nice scent it has a really really nice soft cologne scent really um aquish i want to say it reminds me of um a real old school uh cool water <laughs> which would fit it right but um it definitely has a very nice scent all right, everyone, let's go ahead and check out the texture. So, um, it is liquid. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into the application. So my hair is washed and it is damp. So let's go ahead and spray. Now, when you spray, um, this thing sprays very wide. So watch out the first time I sprayed, I sprayed my eyes. So <laughs> uh, go ahead and just when you spray, make sure you guys get like, you know, you look down because the sprayer is very good and it's very strong. So kind of like half pump it. Don't, don't squeeze it all the way down. Get a good couple bit of sprays on there. And man, that scent is really, really nice. So that you got it in there, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry. So I will be back. All right, everyone. So I'm back, and as you can see, my hair looks great. Um, definitely a lot of volume from the sea salt spray. I see what everybody's talking about. Um, I mean, this stuff is definitely leaves your hair very, very bouncy, very nice, very soft too. So I'm um, definitely digging, as you can see, just the volume I'm getting from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and style it because obviously this is a pre-styler. Um, you can if you want, if you're looking for a super dry, very bouncy look, um, this can definitely give me a bit of hold on its own. But I mean, honestly, I always like to use a, pre a sea salt spray as a pre-styler. So we're gonna go ahead and finish it with the Pete and Pedro paste. And the reason I'm using the paste and not the putty is because the putty is more of a matte product. And um, so, because of the fact the sea salt spray leaves my hair very, very matte, almost a bit dryish, uh, I want to say I'm going to go ahead and use the paste because it's going to give me a bit of a shine and so it'll counteract that dryness. So, definitely, uh, let me get another scoop. So, whew, forgot how this stuff is crazy wild and sticky. Let's go ahead and break it up and go one hand in the back. And you're not going to need too much product just because the sea salt spray already did, did its work. It did the work for it. So just a little bit on there just to kind of get that nice high volume quick for you guys. And as you can see, it's exactly doing it. It's giving me just that nice little bit of shine that I wanted. I'm getting that hold, just nice pliable volume. So as you can see, guys, I mean, just, man, the sea salt spray is money. I'm telling you. Very, very nice. So um, definitely love the application. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and go over the final style. All right, everyone, let's 
go ahead and give this my overall verdict. So from one being the least and five being the best, I definitely want to give this sea salt spray a 4.8. This stuff was on point, guys. Once again, Pete and Pedro holding it down, man. Um, what can I say about this? It super surprised me. I remember seeing all kinds of reviews from people and everybody would just always talk so many good things about this. And I was like, man, is it really that great? And um, a buddy of mine got this and he said, dude, this stuff is awesome. Check it out. And uh, I had to get it. I got it, and let me tell you, I mean, like I said, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Can't fake this hairstyle, so, man, the volume you get from this, it is crazy, crazy good. So, um, if you're into high-volume hairstyles, this is a definite must. Now, this is really great. Everything was perfect. It was, like, the packaging, the scent, the texture, the application, everything was good. Um, the only knock I got, and the reason I didn't give it a 5 was just because um, I thought it leaves my hair a bit too dry. It could be just me. But for me, um, I mean, obviously, if you love those super matte looks, and this would be great because you could just use that and use another matte product on top of it, it would leave your hair completely ridiculously matte. But for me, um, just almost to where I want to say it looked a little bit dry. So, uh, but like I said, um, the Pete and Pedro paste did a good job. Like you get something with a bit of a shine like this, and um, it basically counter counteracted it. So it's, it'll still give me a bit of a, I want to say matte, but it just, my hair looks fresher and nicer and it just makes it look more alive. And so definitely great. That was the only knock I had, but aside that, man, this stuff really works really, really good. Um, You get a lot of sea salt spray for $20. I believe it's like 19 and some change. And um, this is a lot of product guys. You don't really need too much. Um, the scent, everything was great. Um, it washes off really easily. Your hair feels really good. Like it says, it's got some kelp extract and uh, some other products in here that are good for your hair. My hair, my hair felt really great afterwards. So definitely, this is a must. Um, if you never tried a sea salt spray, this is definitely a really good one to start off with. Um, let me tell you though, um, this stuff is so good that I feel like if, when you use it, you're probably, um, if you try another one, you probably want to like it because this one, I have a lot of them, really expensive ones and. Uh, this one's really great. So definitely can't say enough good things about this stuff. This is my favorite sea salt spray for now. Definitely on point. Check it out, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and put a link below when you can get yourself some Pete and Pedro sea salt spray. Trust me, don't sleep on this product. Well, everyone, this concludes our video. I definitely enjoyed making it for you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And to my subscribers, you know, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time on GQR Style and Fitness.